Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Cone back here again today with another video. And today, I'm going to be going ahead and breaking down and predicting the winners of each of the NBA All-Star 2023 events. This includes, of course, the Rising Stars game, the Skills Challenge, the Dunk Contest, the Three Point Contest, and the All-Star game itself. Even though we won't know the teams until 30 minutes beforehand, I'm still going to try and go ahead and predict things, certain players having good performances, whatever, because what's the fun in predicting the whole weekend if you don't predict the main event itself? And All-Star Weekend is one of my favorite parts of the calendar year, so you know I had to make this video. And while you're here, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the Rising Stars game, which I feel like has gotten some great changes recently that it desperately needed. Originally, it was just like a young players all-star game, which is totally cool and really fun, but there really wasn't much competitive fire or intensity to it. It was kind of just guys messing around out there, as was the case with the all-star game before they made a couple of changes recently. And I think they did a great job with the Rising Stars game as well. They changed it over to a draft format where you have NBA legends and retired guys drafting these teams of young players. They got some G League guys involved too, which we will talk about in a bit. And overall, I just think it's a much better experience having kind of that small tournament format where each team plays one game and the winner of those two goes ahead and faces off in a championship. It's a great time all around. I loved it last year and I think this year is going to be even better. So let's go ahead and break down these rosters. First, we have Team Darren Williams, which is Jalen Green, who is not playing anymore, is being replaced by Io Sunmu. We've got AJ Griffin, Bones Highland, Walker Kessler, Trey Murphy III, Alperin Shengut, and Franz Wagner. For Team Joakim Noah, we have Jalen Duran, who is now being replaced by Tari Eason due to injury, Josh Giddy, Quentin Grimes, Evan Mobley, Jabari Smith Jr., Jeremy Sohan, and Jalen Williams. On Team Pow, we've got Jose Alvarado, Paolo Bancaro, Scotty Barnes, Jaden Ivey, Benedict Mathurin, Keegan Murray, and Andrew Nemhard. And Team Jason is a bunch of G League guys. We've got Scoot Henderson involved there. We've got Kenneth Lofton, Mac McClung, Leonard Miller, Scotty Pippen Jr., Mojave King, just to say a couple names. So those are the all-star rosters that we have for the Rising Stars game. And of course, you know my favorite's going to be Team Joakim. They've got J-Dub, they've got Josh Giddy, the two Thunder representatives. So of course, I'm leaning towards them as my winner. But also, I just think they've got a good combination of size, defense in particular, when you take a look at guys like Tari Eason, Quentin Grimes, Evan Mobley, Jeremy Sohan, Jabari Smith Jr., the defense is absolutely there. And then offensively, of course, you've got Josh Giddy as a playmaker and a really decent score. You've got Jalen Williams, who's done a great job of scoring over 50% this season. I just think this team is pretty well set up. Although I do think, of course, Team Pal, which has Paolo Bancaro and Scotty Barnes, Benedict Matherin feels like a guy who would absolutely go off in this type of tournament exhibition format like he's been doing all season. I think Team Pal is probably the favorite. But for me personally, I'm going to go Team Joakim. I'm going to be biased here. And if I've got to pick a Rising Stars MVP, of course, you know I'm going to go with my guy Josh Giddy or Jade up. I think one of the two Thunder guys will take it home, but I'm going to go Josh Giddy in particular. I feel like he had a great showing last year. And he's going to do exactly the same. I am excited to see how like a Scoot Henderson plays in this type of format last season. He was also involved and it was really fun to watch him play. I wish they got Victor in on this, especially since the NBA app acquired the rights to stream all of his team's games overseas. So I thought there was a chance we would maybe see Victor Wembanyama involved with that G League team in some capacity. See Scoot Henderson and Victor go out there and hoop alongside each other for probably like the only time we will ever see you in their careers because they're going to go one and two overall in the draft but they didn't make it happen which is unfortunate however there still is some fun talent over there on that G League squad and of course with team Darren Williams I think they're also pretty solid Trey Murphy is also going to be in the dunk contest but he's a great three-point shooter and defender Shengun is a really fun offensive hub Franz Wagner is underrated Bones Highland now a part of the Los Angeles Clippers might be looking to prove something AJ Green's a shooter Jalen Green I feel like would have been great in this format it's unfortunate he cannot play. So I do think that kind of hurts Team Darren Williams. So overall, I'm going to go with Team Joakim. I'm going to be biased and say Josh Giddy wins Rising Stars MVP. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the Skills Challenge, which also I think got a much needed renovation recently. Last season, they moved to this three-team, multi-leveled format rather than the typical two players go head-to-head, -head, dribble around some cones, make a layup, like pass kind of thing. I think the team format is a great way to do it. And this season, they brought back the Antetokounmpo's. We've got Alex, Giannis, and Thanasis. They also did a hometown team like they did with the Cavaliers with Garland, Mobley, and Allen. They've now got the Jazz with Jordan Clarkson, Walker, Kessler, and Colin Sexton. And then a team full of rookies with Paolo Bancaro, Jay Nivey, and Jabari Smith Jr. Now I will say I'm not as excited about some of these teams as I was last season. Of course, they did have like Josh Giddy involved, which got me a little bit more into it as a Thunder fan. I also think the Cavs players with Garland and Mobley were a bit more exciting, but I do think it's still going to be a really fun event. And of course, I think the favorites have to be the Antetokounmpo's. They've done this already. They understand this format. And I do think they've got a good combination of skills. I was impressed with the way they played last season in the competition. So I think they're easily my favorites. Although I don't think you can sleep on either of these teams. Having a Colin Sexton and Jordan Clarkson 
of solid shooters. Walker Kessler, I think, is also a bit underrated in some aspects of his game. And then with the rookies, of course, you've got Paolo, you've got Jay Nivey, Jabari Smith, all guys that can do a number of different things. But I am going to go with the Antetokounmpo's. I would... If I'm being quite honest, be kind of surprised if they don't end up winning this because I just think the combination of experience and also the fact that they have Giannis is going to make them the pretty prohibitive favorites. Next up, we have the three-point contest, which out of the three Saturday events between this, the dunk contest, and the skills challenge, this one's my favorite. I just love the displays of elite shooting guys hitting like five, six, seven threes in a row, knocking down everything on a money ball rack, slowly closing in on the guy ahead of them to make it to the final. The three-point contest, in my opinion, is the best of these three events, and I think it's going to be another great year of the event itself. There are some good participants like Jason Tatum, Kevin Herter, Tyler Hero, Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Heald, Damian Lillard, Julius Randle, who will be replacing Anthony Simons, and Lowry Markkinen. All around a pretty great field. Although I do want to note, Isaiah Joe, who's been the best three-point shooter in the league so far this season, isn't in the contest, which, you know, I'm a little bit mad about. Thunder Legend, I would have loved to see him or like a Malcolm Brogdon or Contavious Caldwell-Pope, three of the best shooters in the league so far this season, get a shot in the contest. I understand they want to put a bit more of like star names out there, but I feel like the three-point contest is a great way to introduce everybody to new shooters, guys that they may not know about. Like for example, say you're somebody that doesn't know who Isaiah Joe is on the Thunder, you come into the three-point contest and all of a sudden he lights it up and has like 20 points, 25 points, and he ends up advancing to the final round. All of a sudden, boom, you have a new player that you can watch on your radar. I just think that's kind of a fun way to get more guys involved. I understand they want to go with stars. I also don't love that they put two guys from two teams in this, making up half of the competitive field. I know Simons isn't in it anymore and Julius Randle is replacing him, which is kind of funny because of his three-point percentage not being the greatest, although he is having a good season. But regardless, I still think it is a great field of guys. So obviously, there are some favorites, including Damian Lillard, who I feel like will probably be most people's pick to win. He's one of the best shooters of all time, having a ridiculous season at the moment. And so this could be an opportunity for him to keep that hot streak going. But I do also think Buddy Heald is one of the big favorites as well. He's won it before and he just is is one of the greatest three-point shooters we've ever seen, which if you don't think so, go ahead and look at the numbers. I can assure you that is the case. However, I don't want to pick one of those favorites. I think that's a bit boring. I do think we could see a great performance from Tyrese Halliburton. I think people are sleeping on him quite a bit. Same with Lowry Markkinen being kind of the hometown kid. But I'm going to go with Kevin Herter. Kevin Herter is my pick to win the three-point contest. To me, it just feels like he's going to come into this wanting to kind of showcase his game, prove to everybody, hey, I'm one of the best shooters in the league, which he is. But I think this is a chance for him to do it on a national big stage, just kind of show everybody. Like, Buddy Heald has won it before. He might not have that same competitive fire. Damian Lord has an all-star game to worry about. So does basically the rest of the people in this field outside of Tyler Hero. And so Kevin Herter is going to be my pick. I think he has a monster performance, kind of shocks the world. And while out of here with the three-point contest trophy. To wrap up the Saturday night festivities, we have the dunk contest, which I feel like is probably most people's favorite, although I do think it's lost a little bit of its appeal over the past few years. Things have just kind of gotten a little bit out of hand. I think it's kind of a bit too gimmicky. I mean, we've got like Cole Anthony putting on some Tims, which is fine, but it took him like 30 minutes to lace them up, and then it was just kind of a normal dunk. Jalen Green dunked with an NFT around his neck, and it's just been kind of a disaster over the past few years, I feel like ever since 2016, where there hasn't been any like ability to match the hype and the grandeur of what happened, which is a bit unfair to say, because in my opinion, that is the greatest dunk contest of all time. But I do think that this year is set up to be a good one. We have Mac McClung, who's a two-way guy for the 76ers. We have Trey Murphy from the Pelicans, Kenyon Martin Jr. from the Rockets, and Jericho Sims, who is replacing Shaden Sharp. I think Jericho is going to be great, but I can't lie and say that I'm not a little bit disappointed that Shaden Sharp isn't going to be in it because it feels like he throws on a poster basically every night. But even so, I think Jericho is a great replacement if we did have to pick one. And I think all of these guys are underrated as athletes, as dunkers. And in particular, I'm going to go with Mac McClung to win this dunk contest. I think he's going to go ahead and showcase really what he's capable of, especially because when he was announced to be in the contest, when at that point he was just a G League player, people were mad. People were saying like, oh, why are we having this G League or not this NBA star or whatever? And I would, you know, like to see some of the NBA's biggest stars participate in the dunk contest. I do understand why most of them don't. Although, once again, I would love to see that happen. But even still, I think Matt McClung is one of the better dunkers in the association, and he just got a two-way contract. He's going to go out, put on a show, prove all the haters wrong. I think Trey Murphy and Kenyon Martin Jr. can bring their own flair. Jericho Sims can get like his almost 
like entire torso it feels like above the rim if he jumps high enough. I think it's gonna be a great dunk contest. I'm really excited and hopefully I'm not wrong like I was last year. And finally we have the all-star game itself which like I said we're not gonna know the rosters for until 30 minutes before the game so I can't exactly just wait for those to be announced in a day or two. We aren't gonna know them until the game is basically happening so I'm gonna try and make a prediction with whatever information I have and the info that I have is LeBron is so much better at this captain thing than basically anybody else that I'm taking his team. I think he's going to go ahead and draft a good team. And even if he gets beat in the draft, they're still going to find some way to win because this man cannot seem to lose all-star games in this new format. I believe his team has won every single season, which, you know, I guess just kind of speaks to the whole lay GM thing. Giannis did say in a post-game interview that he's got to beat LeBron this time. He's got to draft better. And maybe he will, but I just think LeBron is unmatched in terms of this team building through the NBA all-star draft. And he's going to go ahead and once again, get a win. I do think it's interesting as well to think about who gets picked first. I did see a report that they're going to start with the bench players and then do the starters. And in terms of bench players, if Giannis goes first, I would expect him to pick Drew Holiday. It's his teammate, but LeBron doesn't have any teammates. So in terms of who he's going to pick off the bench, I'm very curious. And I think it's something to keep an eye on. Maybe he goes with like a Damian Lillard off the bench, one of the best point guards so far this season. Maybe he goes with a young guy like an Anthony Edwards or a Shea Gilgis Alexander. Who knows? But regardless, I think LeBron is going to end up drafting the best team possible. And in terms of predicting All-Star Game MVP, once again, it's hard to predict when I don't know the teams because it basically always goes to somebody on the winning squad, but just straight up in terms of players I think could be great. All those guys I just mentioned, Damian Lillard, I think is one of the big favorites to go ahead and win All-Star Game MVP. Once again, he's been on absolute fire so far this season. He drills a bunch of threes and all around, he's just a highlight type player. And that's what you need to win All-Star Game MVP. You have to be draining threes from deep or dunking on people or making some kind of crazy highlights. So I think he's a good pick as well as Anthony Edwards, who I'm actually going to go ahead and pick to win All-Star Game MVP. I think as he even said, when he got announced as a replacement, he wants to go for this award and I think he will. It's his first time in the game. He's a highlight player. Like I mentioned, he can dunk on you. He can drill threes from deep. He's going to really go ahead and attack in basically every moment that he's out there. And so Anthony Edwards is going to be my pick for all-star game MVP. He'll be one of the first reserves picks over to team LeBron and him, Bron, and the rest of the squad will end up winning once again, the NBA all-star game because everybody else can't seem to beat him. And those are my final predictions for all-star weekend. Go ahead and comment down below who you have winning each of the events. And let me know if any of my picks were bad, who should have been in these contests instead of somebody else. Let me know all that in the the comment section below. And also, once again, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. I appreciate you watching. Enjoy the All-Star Weekend. I'll see you all later. Rewind, say back.